And we'll begin from Indonesia, where shortages in fuel continue to occur in many petrol stations across the country. The problem is mainly due to the increase in some higher octane fuel prices, which has pushed some drivers and even industries to use the cheaper subsidized fuel variants, even when they're not supposed to. Now, during a visit to a petrol station in Bengkulu, Indonesia's energy minister found a mining truck that was filling up a subsidized diesel when they're clearly not allowed to. Memberikan penjelasan apa-apa mengenai ini, hati-hati. Kenapa pertama sih ceritain dong kepada rakyat ada empati kita gitu. Such was Indonesian President Joko Widodo's directive at a recent cabinet meeting. The president told ministers, explained to the Indonesian public why fuel prices have increased, and explained the reason behind shortages at petrol stations across Indonesia. Since that meeting, Indonesia's Minister of Energy and Mineral Resources, Arifin Tasrif, conducted on-site inspections to numerous petrol stations across Indonesia. During an inspection in Bengkulu, the minister found plantation and mining company trucks who were filling up with subsidized diesel when they're not supposed to. In fact, the 2014 number 191 presidential regulation clearly states that mining and palm oil companies cannot buy subsidized diesel. Minister Arifin further explained that subsidized diesel is meant for passenger vehicles like buses and logistics trucks that carry staple goods for the public. Despite this, the minister also admitted that fuel shortages has been sparked by jumps in demand. Meanwhile, during a visit to a petrol station in Samarinda, East Kalimantan, Indonesia's energy minister urged drivers who could afford a non-subsidized diesel to avoid using subsidized diesel. But despite his warnings, shortages of subsidized fuel continue to occur across Indonesia. Recently, the price of the higher octane Pertamax fuel variant was increased by nearly 40 percent, leading to shortages in pertolite as scores of people switch to this much cheaper fuel variant. In a recent mass demonstration held by university students, one of the issues they protested against was the increase in fuel prices. However, many analysts argue that there was a misconception among students as fuel prices are increasing everywhere around the world, including in the United States, due to an increase in global oil prices sparked by Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Indonesia's President Joko Widodo lamented this lack of understanding amongst the Indonesian public and urged ministers to explain the issue in detail. Tidak ada penjelasan apa-apa kenapa ini terjadi. Yang kedua, pertama, Menteri juga tidak memberikan penjelasan apa-apa mengenai ini. Hati-hati, kenapa pertama sih ceritain dong kepada rakyat, ada empati kita gitu loh. Gak ada yang berkaitan dengan energi, gak ada. Indeed, the prices of cooking oil and fuel has been increasing as of late. But this is not a problem that is faced only by Indonesia, as prices have been increasing all around the world due to many factors, including a jump in demand, global supply chain disruptions, and also Russia's invasion of Ukraine.